What's up, y'all? Got a banger from Men Only. Let's get straight into it. A few days ago, I decided to stop playing games and just communicate my feelings openly and honestly towards the person that I'm seeing at that particular moment. I don't believe you. I was left undelivered. <laughs> he didn't even open it. What a king. He didn't even leave me on red. Brutal. He left me undelivered. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit. Now you know how it feels. The only thing I said was, hey... If I'm honest, I would love to see you again. That's it. I'm done with dating. Equality, baby. Okay, update. Two days ago, I sent this message saying, like, if I'm really honest, I would love to see you again. And he left me undelivered. As He's I said. like, you know what? I'd rather teach a flamingo tap dancing than see you again. <laughs> He's like, I'd rather teach a jellyfish how to juggle and see you again. Honey, there must have been something wrong with you. In my previous video, I just checked again, and 38 minutes ago, he opened it. He waited two days to open it. So at first, he left me undelivered, and then he left me on red. That's what you get. You're a left on red kind of girl. What the fuck is wrong with people? No, it's nothing Honestly. wrong with him. Here's the thing. Life is a mirror, not a window. There's something wrong with you, honey. Clearly, your attitude, your personality, or something about you gave this man the ick. And he thought you were probably stupid. So he's like, you know what? Don't want to deal with her anymore. He's like, I would probably rather choreograph a ballet for bees <laughs> than have to deal with you, which is probably what it was. So it was like, this is why I always say life is a mirror, not a window. It was something that you did that gave this man the ick. Because ladies, you always forget that like, we can have icks too. I know it's kind of crazy to think, but we can also have icks. So for you guys having icks, we can too. Maybe you gave him an ick. Maybe it was something he didn't like. So it's just, it is what it is. I'm sorry. And the back and forth. Realizing that he deserved someone who... Yeah, and, and this guy probably just wanted a girl that was a little bit more on his level, and you just didn't hit the level, boo-boo. I'm sorry. I'm, you're ready to get serious. Maybe, guys, that's something to think about before you do this. Because it sucks, okay? It sucks. Not that I am into this guy necessarily, but it sucks still. So I was thinking about this because I recorded... Uh, the video earlier today and it was like it was not that i didn't pick up on cues or anything because he was telling me constantly when he was with me that i was so beautiful and that he really liked me and he wanted to see me and he was looking forward to the next time he couldn't wait he even wanted to see me earlier than the day we agreed upon so i don't i just don't get it like why why do something like that? Why you don't have to tell me? Here's like, here's why. You weren't the first pick. It's as simple as that. He had other girls on deck. He had a roster. This man might have well been running the Olympics because he had a roster of people to pick from. Like this guy had other options. You weren't the first draft. You weren't for you weren't you weren't a starter. You weren't starting on the team, honey. Therefore, he had other options. He went with the other options. Can you blame him? Let me know in the comments. If you had three girls willing to kick it with you, and your top pick was the baddest, the second one wasn't near as bad, and the third one was bad, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Which one would you go with? And if the first girl was like, hey, let's kick it like a sensei, I'd be like, let's go with it. It's karate class with me and you, baby girl. Let's go. That's what I would be like. What would you guys be like, though? Clearly, you weren't first pick, and that's okay. You're just getting humbled. You wanted a taste. You guys wanted equality, and now you got it. That you like me. You don't have to tell me that you think I'm beautiful. And you don't have to tell me that you're looking forward to seeing me again. If you're just going to leave me on. She bed. really booty hurt. This guy must have been way out of her league. She real booty hurt. Let's get this straight. She claimed it wasn't that she didn't pick up on the clues or anything. If she could pick up on the clues, why did she keep playing games? Why didn't she show that she Facts. wanted him to and return the energy and interest he was giving her? And see, she that might have been the thing. He might not have getting. Uh, he might not have been getting a reciprocation of 
energy, I guess you could say. Um, and so he was probably like, you know what? Don't want to deal with her anymore. So I'm going to keep it pushed. And I can't really blame the guy for doing that. If you're out there in the dating market right now, dude, and you're talking to these women and they're not giving you any reciprocation of interest, any reciprocation of questions, of overall curiosity of who you are as a person, bro, on to the next. I think you should be interested, but they should be interested as well. A good relationship is a two-way street. It's not a one-lane highway. It's not all one person giving effort, because if that's the case, the other one's just going to take advantage. It needs to be a give and a take, a give and a go. You know what I mean? Like, come on now. Let's see what this one's got to say. I want to be single. Yeah. I don't want to be in the streets. I don't want to be outside. I don't want to have to go party and meet people. I don't want to have to have these stupid... I can already tell you by the hips, the way she's talking, the hair. She's in the streets, though. More than likely... She's a runner. She's a track star. And that's okay. Meaningless ass conversations to get Tired to know people. What their favorite color right. is. Is your dick big? Literally. That's what I want to know. <laughs> is your dick big? How much money do you make? Yeah. Do you have any baby mamas? Yeah. Is there anybody out there that's your girlfriend or thinks they're your girlfriend? And they think if they're gonna ask those questions to a man that it's gonna be a man of value and a man that's wanna gonna wanna take you serious. I'm I'm gonna be I'm gonna keep it a buck. Let me know in the comments. If a girl came up and asked you, How big is your pickle? How much money do you make? I would immediately think she belongs to the streets. She's a runner, she's a track star. I would not think that she's looking for anything serious. A woman that's actually looking for something serious is like the curiosity of your family. Hey, what's your family dynamic like? Do you have any siblings? That's what they would be asking about. It wouldn't just be about sex and money. Let me know in the comments. So what do you think? Are there anybody who's ever tried to unalive themselves over you? Yeah. Is the dick that good? Yeah, look. I, I need it. Know. Anybody <laughs> had any tattoos? Yet? Let's break this down. These 304s Horrible. and so-called bops don't want anything serious. <laughs> These 304 so-called bops. Is this like your 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 old uncle telling you about the game? They're in it for the long haul, only if it benefits them. They want sponsors, online ego boosts, and constant validation. Once they've used you up, they'll dump you and move on to the next guy who they believe will pick up where the last one left off. This cycle is all too common. These women are playing the long game for their own benefit. They're not See, these women are thinking about, is your pickle big? Do you got a lot of money? We're thinking, is the coochie tight? Is it easy to hit? I mean, that, that's I'm just saying. Interested in building real, meaningful relationships. Instead, they seek out men who will provide financial support and boost their online presence. It's all about what they can get out of the situation, Leeches. not about genuine connection or partnership. When one guy's resources are exhausted, or when they no longer feel that ego boost, they move on to the next target. This is why I always say that women wait at the finish line and pick the winners. That's why it's, we got to go out there and be winners. This way you can have a roster of women to pick from. But if you're, you know, you're not striving to be the best you can be, you're not going to have women flocking to you, buddy. I learned from working with customers and I'm still learning that. And you guys might say, oh, we, we already knew that. But some women need to hear it because you guys are anxious. The wall is an urban legend. It does not exist. I actually did not know what the hell... The wall exists. <laughs> Tell me you've hit the wall without telling me you've hit the wall. <laughs> this lady face planted straight into the wall. <laughs> Common sense has left the chat. Um, let me know in the comments. Is the wall real or is this just some urban legend? Let me know. How the wall was before I started posting on TikTok one year ago. When you work with customers and let just me know tattoo. if you work in like nail, beauty, any kind of industry like that. You see older women getting married and successfully dating all the time women that are taken care of they know what to do with their body type and they have this feminine energy this fun light-hearted they, they love life they never have shortage of younger men wanting to date them their age older men i'm sure for older men that are kind that are decent it's the same way but keyword honey these women are feminine that's the one thing you just kind of skim over yeah a feminine woman can go out there and procure a man probably any time but the thing is, a lot of you ladies hit the wall. You forget that your value is going down and you're acti acting masculine. You're acting like men. We don't want to date combative, argumentative women. We want a girl that's going to be able to get on our page. Even these older women, if they're super feminine, yeah, they can go out there and procure a man. But, I mean, women like this, the nose ring, and I'm a hairstylist, and I got a chest tat. She's already kind of speaking in a masculine frame, in my opinion. But see how I'm not hating on older men. But every time I give like a Slavic woman advice, completely normal advice of not accepting 50-50, only accepting high value dates, I get the wall comments. And I had to look that up 
And then I'm like, okay, they're talking about attention. Like my attention decreased right now versus like when I was um, 22. Mm -hmm. So this is me at 21, 22. <laughs> Okay, if you're hating, you have to be realistically hating. Like, you cannot just be, like, hating well, out. Here's the thing, honey. You were probably wearing makeup in that first picture, and you're definitely wearing makeup now. I don't even know what you really look like. Hell, you could work at the freaking circus. Beep, 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 beep. I don't know. We don't even know what you really look like. You're wearing makeup because you're making up for a lack of aesthetic. That's why it's called makeup. Out of your ass, if you know what I mean. And also notice how my whole life I look older than my age. So if the wall was real, I wouldn't be popular to start with because I already look old. So yeah, don't be chronically online is what I'm trying to say. As a woman, as a man, I'm not even talking. Like if you're that um, full of hate, literally you're motherless. I don't know, go fix a relation. Go uh, seek therapy or I don't know, become gay. But if you're a woman... Shame, insult, and guilt and the need to be right. Just have to shame them. And don't, don't ever take accountability. You don't have to worry. Just trust me. Just trust me. If she's truly secure, why just trust a single woman to give other single women advice. I would rather juggle a cactus <laughs> than take advice from somebody who's not living the life. Here, here's my two cents on taking advice from people. I only take advice from people that I would actually switch shoes with their life. And I'm not saying like, ooh, I would love to be them. I'm just saying I'd love to be in that scenario of whatever advice they're giving me. So let's say I'm talking to someone and I'm asking about financial advice. I'm only going to take their advice if, they're, if their life financially is what I would like to live. Like, okay, I would switch lives with them financially. I'll take their advice. But if somebody's coming to me about any other form of life, whether it's dressing, styling, how to talk to women, financial advice, if I wouldn't trade shoes with them and live their life in that frame of whatever advice they're giving me, I never take their advice. People try to give me social media advice all the time. Well, Levi, you should do this and you should do this. Uh, were you there like the rest of you guys were when I was at, you know, 5K subs? Were you there? No. Then why would I listen to you? I've built this channel all by myself. Nobody gave me any direction. Nobody gave me any advice. People just told me to start, which I did. So if you wouldn't, if you wouldn't trade shoes with this person in whatever frame of, of where you're asking the advice, don't take their advice because they don't know. People want to give unsolicited advice all the time. And, and when they do, I usually just block it out and I go, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And if people want to be wrong, go ahead and be wrong. I think Keanu Reeves has a quote like this. It's like, he's like, I hear people saying things that are wrong all the time. He's like, I just agree and just keep it pushing. Two plus two is five. You're right. I'm going to keep it pushing. Because why would I argue with an idiot? There's no, there's no point. There's absolutely no point. Confidence and security. She hopes. There's absolutely no point. Let's uh, fast forward here. Here we go. Step toward genuine self-awareness and growth. How to get into a guy's head. How to make him freaking obsessed. Wait, wait, wait. How to get into a guy's head? How about you give a guy some head? <laughs> Jesus, do that. Less talking, more down south to mouth. With you. Now, I don't know if you're going to want to do this because they are going to be all over you. There will be no more chasing needed by your end. They're going to be wrapped around your little finger. Number one, and text him single. his name and then don't answer. None. Done. We're ghost. We're gone. There is no response after that. He is going to be first kind of freaking out, kind of shitting himself, but then he's going to get into like, oh crap, I really want to know what she like, wants to say, whatever, and be so invested in you and in that conversation for as long as you don't answer. Let me know in the comments. If a girl texted you your first name, I would think I'm in trouble. <laughs> like if Cass was like Levi, I'd be like, what? It, it, would, it would give me a level of intrigue, but if it was some random girl like this, I wouldn't give it any thought. And then once it is a couple hours, and when I say a couple, I mean about five, four to five hours later, then you can say, oh crap, I totally forgot what I was going to say. He will be wondering about it four days. Number two, hold eye contact with him. It makes him so nervous and it creates like this sex drive and it'll make him want you even more. It'll make him start that obsession with you. But you have to keep the eye contact like very strong and very not weird and awkward, but just like you're actually looking at him and you're looking directly into his eyes. My favorite thing in the world is telling a man that you don't know if he's your type. You're still kind of figuring it out. Now, this will make him want to be your type. This will make him want to figure out what your type is and be that person for you. And he's going to be invested into thinking everything that you want from him, and he's about to do that. Because men can't lose. You remember when I talked about preying on a woman's insecurities? Exhibit A. Women do the same thing. This is why we got to play the game, fellas, if you want to play the game. I know a lot of you guys are going your own way, which I applaud you. But, like, this is why we got to play these games. And so women get mad that men are manipulative and blah, 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 blah. Well, he's, he's manipulating me. And me, 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 me. Well, you're, you're, you're manipulating us by doing these tactics. So, like I said, prey on her insecurities and then she'll fall in love with you. Same thing with this. 
she's doing she's essentially explaining that now it's a game to him and last but not least tell him that you feel safe with him guys love to be in their masculine era and if you tell him that you feel safe with him masculine then- era more like masculine frame but whatever he will be in that masculine era and that is exactly how he wants to feel with a woman so good luck but use this wisely where are these people getting their information I mean, the thing is, she's got some points, though, because when it comes to the manipulation of a relationship, this is I mean, some of this, some of that's actually pretty good. But just use that against women. That's what I would do. Don't don't like because ladies usually are too wrapped up into the chads and stuff like that. So us as men, we kind of have to play games a little bit more. Yep. So I'm determined to meet somebody out in real life. That being said, I live in Los Angeles. Where do it's you- a wrap for you, honey? Living in L.A. looking like that is a wrap people in real life because i feel like going to the bars you don't really meet the right kind of people usually i need more recommendations so please comment below let's help each other Church. find places to meet potential partners in real life here's the hard truth church good men aren't interested anymore they've checked out in droves and it's no wonder why women today often don't seem worth the time and effort think about it men are tired of dealing with the endless games the drama and the constant emotional manipulation. Mm. They're fed up with being taken for granted and disrespected. It's no longer worth their time to invest in relationships that bring more stress than joy. Modern dating has become a battlefield where genuine connection and mutual respect are rare. Women often hold impossibly high standards while offering little in return. They demand attention, gifts, and unwavering support, but rarely reciprocate with the same level of commitment and care. Many women today are more focused on their social media presence and validation from strangers than building a meaningful relationship. Mm -hmm. They prioritize their own needs and desires above those of their partners, creating an unbalanced dynamic that leaves men feeling unappreciated and undervalued. This lack of reciprocity and respect has driven good men away. They've realized that their time and energy are better spent elsewhere. On personal growth, hobbies, and friendships that offer real support and appreciation. They no longer see the point in chasing after relationships that only drain them emotionally and mentally. Women need to take a hard look in the mirror and acknowledge their role in this shift. If they want to keep good men interested, they need to step up and offer the same level of effort and commitment. They need to stop playing games, stop taking men for granted, and start valuing genuine connection over superficial validation. Well, and- that's the thing. That's why I say women grow old and they never grow up. They want to be treated like children. That's why that, that, that last chick, that blonde chick, she actually has a pretty good advice. You got to play mind games with these women if you want to get them. It sucks. We don't want to do it. We'd rather just go up and build a, a meaningful, logical relationship, have a good foundation of you're a cool person, we're a cool person, great, let's be cool people together. But sadly, that's not the case, and women don't operate that way. They like the toxicity. They like the turmoil. They enjoy it. It's weird. But as a guy, what I, what I always say is, like, as a guy... You want women, you want to, you want to have a chick, you need to fix yourself first. You, you have to, and, cause I always preach accountability. Like life is a mirror, not a window. So go out there, become the best version of yourself. Go listen to the book, James by James Allen, as a man thinketh, go get in the gym, start eating good, start consuming better content, get some self-help books. Like there's so much content out there to unbuck your life where you can do it. I did it. Dude, let me give you a story. So when I was, um, 24, I had just moved to Austin. I just got out of college. And I, I had nothing. I had no job. I knew one person here. So I was like, well, how do I do this? How do I get out? So I read the book, um, Think and Grow Rich, I think was, yes, it was Think and Grow Rich. It's more or less like a, a, a workbook. I, I can't remember the, I can't remember the, uh, the, the guy's name that wrote the book, but Think and Grow Rich, really good book. But one of the pages was write down on a piece of paper, I am, and then write down every adjective of what you are right? I am uh, creative. I am passionate. I am loving, whatever. And then go write the success story of your life. Go write like, go write like um, a, a story of your life, almost like if it was like an autobiography or something. So I wrote, you know, my name is Levi Nichols. I will achieve this by doing, I will achieve $1 million by doing this and doing that. And like, I wrote down my success story and then I put a plan in place to try to achieve it. And that's what you should do. But like, if you don't have a plan, you don't have a goal, it's really hard to get somewhere without having a plan. So you got to have a plan. Like even with this YouTube stuff, I plan out my videos days in advance. Like I could show you guys a Google doc right now of all the videos I've done from last year. And it's, it's just, 
it's like hundreds of videos by now um because we've had a lot of days it's been like nine or ten months but i go back and i can see every single video that i've done like this entire month is already planned out so if you don't plan how are you going to be the man oh that's a new quote if you don't plan, how are you going to be the man? Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go cop the ebook in the description there. Boom, it should be down there. Um, the four pillars of personality, how to be irresistible to women and respected by men. It's short and sweet. Uh, I'd appreciate you guys if you copped that. Uh, join the Discord if you want to chat with me offline or give me suggestions of videos to, videos to react to. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.